Hello YouTubers. This is Larry out at in Newport News. And we're going to do a little tour of uh, Newport News Shipyard. It's where I worked at for 39 years. These buildings here is where they uh, put big parts of the ship in and build them so the guys don't have to be out in the weather. They get a lot more accomplished that way too. These, these buildings here weren't here uh, when I worked here. I've been, I've been retired for two years this month. They put um, big parts of the submarine and the aircraft carrier. They're both nuclear powered. And the shipyard uh, has real strict um, regulations for uh, working on nuclear stuff. They're actually more stricter than um, the Navy is, and by far, but more than any, any other countries that do nuclear stuff, like Russia. There used to be a parking lot here. People used to park here, and now they uh, take all the parking away from them, build buildings. Now they got to go way across the road over there. It takes long to get to their cars and stuff like that. Shipyard is um, two miles waterfront, 550 acres, and the largest employer, the state of Virginia. All these buildings here are fairly new. There a lot of them were here when I got here over this way, but some of them weren't. But down there, and if you can see the carrier down there, the carriers in the water, that's uh, Dry Dock 12. That's where they build the uh, carriers there until a certain point, then they pull them out and put them in the OB-1 outfitting berth. This is a drive-through gate that uh, security, and they check the cars underneath it and stuff like that. They got cameras and whatnot. Ever since uh, 9-11, they built this, this uh, vehicle inspection station. You can't get us so close to see so much, but uh, the big blue crane and the, I forget what the other cranes right there are called. They used to be blue too, but they're all faded now and rusting. Somebody rode their uh, heritage to work today. I used to work in the maintenance department. We were all over. Once a while we go on uh, boats, but not very often. Most of our stuff is, uh, well, all our stuff is temporary stuff. That's some kind of nuclear building there. I forget exactly what you call it, but I know I've been in it. I've been on every building in the shipyard, one time or another. This building here is the oxygen plant. And this is on to a building, uh, what do you call it? An engineering building. The big building way back there is, uh, they build ships in there too. It's not very healthy in there, though. it's pretty dirty. The building right there is a welding school. They got a lot of welders in the shipyard. A lot of, a lot of them come and go, they don't last that long because it's not a very good job. Pays good. Alright, this is a this this is a north yard. I'm gonna go up to uh, south yard. Oh this is Larry 68HD is my YouTube channel. If you subscribe to it, I appreciate it to help me out a little bit. I'm just doing it for fun. And now hit that uh thumbs up button, the like button. That'll help me also.
The other thing too is uh, shipyard pay is good. They got good benefits and uh, retirement, and they uh, got a 401 matching 401. They don't match all of it, but it matches percentage-wise. Did me good. After working 39 years, I got a nice retirement. Got a bunch of buildings there. I forget which one is which, but they got they build all kind of different parts of the uh, uh, submarines or carriers in. All these houses through here are real old houses. They built them back when they first built the shipyard. Mostly, a lot of the big wheels in the shipyard lived in them. Doing a good job. Come here. Come to Newport News and get a good job at the shipyard. It pays real good. And uh, real good uh, overtime. You might make a lot of overtime. You make almost double your money in overtime. Right here used to be uh, where I was born at, Riverside Hospital. Right there where that parking lot is. They tore it down about five years ago. Shipyard was going to buy it and uh, make an office space out of it. They have so much asbestos in it, asbestos in it. it cost too much money to do it so they just they didn't buy it or whatever they had this is 50 street gate of course you got turnstiles there that you got a badge you get in and out of. well used to do it one time they always had guards there that that's crane right there is it's, it's, it's only a couple years old when I was here, they were putting it up and uh, it wasn't in the service yet, but now it is. They took the big green crane down. A lot of buildings there, a lot of stuff going on there. It's the only uh, shipyard in the country that builds aircraft carriers. And we also, we, I say, well, I don't work here anymore. Uh, there's two, there's two places to build submarines. I think Groton, Groton, Connecticut, actually they, they built half here and half there. Kind of don't make any sense. There's a, a school there for different things for the shipyard and that's the clinic. Another turnstiles. That building up there is 520 and 521. Another uh, engineer building. This building right here is building 86. It's uh, that's built alone back in the 1800s, I believe. It tore some of it down because it was too uh, it was too hard to uh, I got to replace the asbestos in that one also. Back in the years 103, that was my building for about 10 years. Then we moved outside the yard, which is a lot better than being inside the yard. We would be in our car and gone before the whistle stopped blowing. That's one thing about the shipyard, traffic. That's the worst thing about the shipyard, really, to me, is traffic. Building 86, president's son in that building, president of the shipyard. There's a lady now. She was there when I was here. 